Okay, so here I have a pint that I found in my cupboard. Um, you want to use something without any labels or emblems. Um, I have a four inch cotton wick. This is not coated. Uh, you don't want to use anything coated. You can use cotton or uh, zinc. Uh, I didn't have a zinc that was um, tall enough. So I'm using this cotton wick and I, I didn't have a little doodad to put it on the bottom. So I just did it with hot glue. And here I have melted 410 grams of gel wax. Uh, I will be adding one drop of the orange gold liquid dye. And you don't want to add more than that because you want it to be the color of beer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just pour now. Um, I don't want to wait too long. No, my wick came off. Oh, I'm going to have to take it out. No. This is what happens, we go. Let me go ahead and start this over. Okay, so I remounted my wax, I cleaned up the glass, and I actually found the zinc wick that's nine inches long, so I lucked out on that one. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and try and pour again. Now I did not fragrance this because I don't want to mess with the cutler. I want the cutler to stay as clear as possible. Okay, so I'm going to let it set. And while this is setting, I'm going to go start I'm going to go start melting my 80 grams of uh I use 464 here, but you can use anything you want. We are at about 206 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it into this Pyrex cup. Okay, I'm going to be adding 12% of my fragrance oil, which is uh, 19 grams of uh, light lager by Aztec. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a regular um, whisk. some ice in here. Um, I don't want to put it in the fridge because then I lose control of the consistency. But if I put it in ice. Okay, so I think it's a good foam consistency. I'm going to go ahead and start pouring. Now, uh, you're going to have some on the edges of the glass. I recommend that you leave it there because that way it looks like a real beer. And there you have it. We just made a light lager gel wax candle. Okay, so today we're going to make uh, some fire starters. Uh, for the container, I am using this paper cups. I got these at Dollar General, but they also sell them at the dollar store. Uh, these are actually pretty big. Um, I normally get the smaller ones, but I was not able to find them this year. So this is what I'll be using for the container. For the fire starter part, I have some, I think this is like guinea pig or hamster bedding. Um, I've had this bag for about eight years and I make these for um, gifts every year and this is all I do. So this one might, might last me like 20 years, depending on how many I make every year. I may have to start making more. Um, okay, so we're gonna put some more on here. Okay, so we add the stuffing. And you just 
just want to And there we have it. We just made some fire starters. So what you do with these is um, when you're starting a fire, just like you would use it just like you use any other fire starter, uh, you put it in there uh, and start putting your small pieces of wood. First light this up and then start putting your big pieces of wood. And this will last uh, quite a bit to make sure that your fire starts. Okay, there we go. Thank you for watching. See you next time.